I'm Stricken, and welcome to the CSPGU YouTube channel. Hey everyone, welcome to the first episode of the CSPGU YouTube channel. CSPGU stands for Colorado Springs Pokemon Go Ultimate, which is a Facebook page that I've run for a couple of months now. We're up to almost a thousand members, and I figured now was a good time to go ahead and start a YouTube channel dedicated towards Pokemon information, especially as it pertains to the Colorado Springs area, such as nests, various Pokemon Go information as it comes out, news from Niantic, news from other associated websites like Silk Road. For example, Silk Road released information today that they now have, I think it's called Silk Road Radio, which you have to have a Reddit account to tie into, but it basically works as an alert system for raids in your area. You can go onto the site, you can put in a raid that's going on, and it'll eventually send out an actual push notification to everybody in the area about that raid. Also, you can RSVP to that. So, I see a raid in downtown Colorado Springs, I go to Silk Road Radio, pop in the information, and then if somebody else is in town and wants to go to that raid, they can actually RSVP to it, which is absolutely outstanding. It's in its beta phase right now, so I'm waiting on it, I don't want to join in until I can make sure, I can see that it's working well, they can iron out whatever kinks. Silk Road's usually pretty good about that kind of stuff though, so I'd imagine that it's probably going to be up and running in just a couple of weeks, if even that long. They're usually really good about being on top of that ball. What I want to do with this page, I want to basically put, like I said, put out information as it pertains to the Colorado Springs area about Pokemon Go and about the game. I want to be able to help people give out tips, tricks, things like that. Anything that will help people in the area play the game better and move forward in the game, make it more enjoyable for them, and everybody can have a good time, everybody can have fun. Now, obviously a lot of the information that I'm going to be putting out in these videos doesn't only pertain to Colorado Springs, so if you're watching this from Missouri or Texas or Virginia or even Europe, there's probably going to be information in, in these videos that will help you. So stick around, watch it. If you like the video, give it a like right down there. Also subscribe to the video. As soon as we can get to 100 subscribers, I can change the YouTube channel name to youtube.com slash CSPGU. Unfortunately, i got to wait 30 days to do that, and I have to have 100 subscribers. So please, if you're enjoying these videos, or if you're going to enjoy these videos, please, please subscribe. Alright, so one of the things that we're going to do on this page is we're actually going to go out and we're going to check out some of the nests and different hot spots in the, in the Colorado Springs area to see what's out there, let you guys kind of see the area a little bit, and maybe give you guys some information you don't know about the areas. But first... Come safety, I've got to get air in my tires. So now that that's done, we are going to go ahead and head up to Rampart Park. The nest list has it blank. There's nothing listed for it. So I want to go up there, see if there is anything, even if it's just commons. That way we can uh, try to fill in that nest list a little bit. So let's get going.
All right, so I'm not sure how well you guys can hear me. It's kind of windy outside, but I am at Rampart Park, and there's a couple of things that I want to go over real quick. First of all, uh, Pokestops, like the one you're seeing on the screen next to me, that have the ring around it, are actually Pokestops that you've never hit before. Those Pokestops will actually give you 250 XP instead of the regular 50 because you've never hit it before. Now every time you hit it after that, that ring is going to be gone, so it'll just be the regular 50 after that. But initially, the first time you ever hit it, you'll get 250 XP. Just like that. So I'm not sure what's here. Uh, let's check the sightings real quick. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of nothing, really. So it's probably just commons, but this has always been kind of a slow park. We'll, uh, we'll kind of hang out and see what's going on. I'm hiding behind this sign because of the wind. And uh, yeah, let's, let's see what we've got going on. Something else I want to talk about real quick is what a nest is. Um, basically, a nest is anything that spawns a particular Pokemon in large amounts. So if you've got a park that spawns like Pikachu a lot more common than normal, then it is most likely, it is most likely, holy crap, I'm getting notifications like crazy. It is most likely going to be um, a nest. Every two weeks the nests migrate. So one week it'll be your uh, Pikachu, for example, and then two weeks later it'll be Machop. Every two weeks when the nests migrate, we have members that'll go out, see what's going on, and they will post to the page on a thread what they're finding nesting at what locations. We then up, up, update, excuse me, update the nest list a couple of times over the course of a couple of weeks, and that's how the nest list is put together. All of the features that I'm going to be talking about that are on the page, you can actually go to the pinned post and find links to all of these things. So I've been at Rampart for about half an hour now, and I haven't seen anything at all that's interesting. So I'm just going to call this a commons nest. But while I've got you for a minute, let's go ahead and talk about another feature of the page. We've got a Discord chat. It used to be a Facebook group chat, but we had way too many people, and it uh, is for rare sightings. Basically, there's a list of what's acceptable to post about, and if you see anything on this list, you go onto the Discord, you post what it is and where it is. Obviously, you're going to post it right when you see it, so you don't necessarily need to say when you saw it, but the list compiles of... The list compiles of various Pokemon that people are either really looking for or that are extremely hard to come by. So things like Dratini, Tyranitar. Also, we allow people to post on that chat uh, raids that are going on that involve those same type of Pokemon. So things like uh, Tyranitar, um, Lapras, things like that. If there's a raid going on with one of those, you can also post that on the raid chat. To get into that raid chat, you go into the photo albums, find the rules for the raid chat, and that'll explain how to get in. I don't want to say more than that because you'll understand when you read it. All right, let's go. Hey, so I just want to apologize for all the wind that was in that clip. Um, there, there were a bunch of storms rolling around, and it just kind of made it difficult. It's my first video. I'm learning, and I'll figure it out as we go. Videos will get better. Um, 
basically all I was talking about was the rare sightings chat. It's a Discord. It's for the Pokemon you saw in that picture that popped up in the clip. And if you want to join, go to the um, photo albums and look for the rare sightings chat album and read the rules. It'll explain in there how to get in there. All right, again, sorry, I'm learning. Alright, so it's starting to rain again. It's been raining off and on all day. I don't want my camera to get too wet, so I'm going to go ahead and head to the car, get out of here. We're going to go around the corner. Right around the corner, it's like half a mile away is Ford Frick Park. It's also listed as blank on the nest list, so we're going to go over there, see if that's anything. Only thing I've caught here of interest is a Ghastly, and there was only one. So, yep, we're going to call it Commons, we're going to head over to Ford Frick. So let's go. All right, so we're here at Ford Frick. We're gonna take a look around, see what's going on. Uh, I've already got a Teddy Ursa. Spin this Pokestop first. It's a 557 Teddy Ursa, it's not horrible. I'll take it. Hopefully he's got pretty good IVs, but we'll see. Got him. Let's see, what is he appraising at? Not great. He sucks. He's garbage. He's gone. All right, let's go. The next feature that I want to talk about is one that I'm actually personally pretty proud of, even though I'm not the one who put it together on the page, one of the other admins did. And that's our uh, raid chat. The raid chat is actually broken up into five different zones, and the different zones are north, south, east, west, and central for the city. And the reason we decided to do that was so that if you're up north hunting, you can opt into that chat versus getting notifications from the whole city when you're only all the way up north. So it kind of makes sense. Now, the way to post in the raid chat, which raid chat, while the rare sightings chat is on Discord, the raid chats are still just group chats on Facebook. The way to post in that is you're going to go to... Let me finish catching this guy real quick. Okay. So you're going to go to your sightings, and then you're going to go to raids, and it'll pop up there with any raids that are fairly close to you. I think the radius is about the same as the sightings, but I'm not 100% on that. So what you're going to do is this here tells you 
Like the one on the left is going to be starting at 3:32. The one at the right is going to be starting at 4:44. It's military time, so you got to do a conversion. It's not hard. So if you click on the egg, it'll show you where that rate is going to be. So you can actually go look. Oops, let me zoom out. And then you click on the gym. If it'll load, there we go. Click on the egg in the bottom left, and it'll tell you what tier it is. So this is just a tier one, for example. But so when you go into the raid chats, you can then post. Okay, this is the Covenant Presbyterian Church at whatever time I said it was. You know, 4:44, tier one raid, and that's all there is. That's all it is to it. People might ask for more specific directions, but other than that, you're good to go. That's that's the the rare, or I mean the raid chat. Awesome, awesome feature on the page that a lot of people really like. While we're on the subject of gyms, let's talk about gyms for a few minutes because I get a lot of questions about gyms. A lot of the info is starting to come out. A lot of it we're starting to understand. Some of it we still don't, but <clears throat> basically what it is, the old system you had. 10 Pokemon in the gym arranged from lowest CP to highest CP when you were battling it. Now it's 6 Pokemon in a gym and it's arranged from first put in the gym to last put in the gym. So the CPs can vary, fluctuate a lot depending on what you're battling. The gyms have, also have badges which you now get anytime you interact with a gym. If you just spin a stop at a gym, you get a badge. You feed a berry to one of the Pokemons, you get a badge. Pretty much anything you do that interacts with a gym gives you a badge or points towards the badge. The higher the badge, the more items you get dropped if it's a gym of your team. So if you're Team Valor and you've got a badge for a gym that's Team Valor, you're more likely to get either more items or rarer items just based on that. All right, also, coins. Dished out completely differently than they used to be. It used to be that you could put as many Pokemon into gyms as you wanted, as many different gyms, and you collected 10 coins per day per Pokemon up to 10 Pokemon, meaning a possible max of up to 100 coins a day. Now the max total's 50. You can only get 50 coins in a day, no matter how many you've got in how many gyms. All that being said, I don't like it at all. The only way you get your coins is if a Pokemon, your Pokemon that was defending a gym, is kicked out of a gym. Once it returns to you, you then get your 50 coins. I don't like it. So Ford Frick was a bust, another just commons, no discernible nest here. So we're going to head up to one more place and uh, see if maybe we'll get a little more lucky and find a nest. Here's hoping. All right, we're at Frank Costello Park. This is another one that on the nest list it says is blank. Hopefully we'll find some stuff. If nothing else, we'll verify that it's just a commons. The last couple of uh, features on the page that I want to talk about real quick. One is the tips and tricks section that we've got going. Basically, it's uh, just a photo album full of photos with various tips and tricks to help you out. For example, what a tie rogue needs to become a Hitman Top or a Hitman Lee or a Hitman Chan. The other thing that we've got going is a thing that we do every two weeks. It's called an XP leaderboard. Basically what we do is we keep track of your XP via submissions that you post and every two weeks we update it so that it's highest XP to lowest XP and we keep track of who has the most uh, XP and the most gains between the two weeks. 
So, pretty cool. Hope you have fun. So Frank Costello was another bust. I did a couple of laps around the park. When I first showed up, I saw a swine up in a Paris. Just now, as I'm getting ready to leave, I saw a Scyther. That's all I saw. There's nothing here. I don't know if I just came at a bad hour or what. I don't know. I've never been to Frank Costello before, so I don't know how, uh, how well it spawns. I don't know if it's a pretty slow spawn usually or what, but I'm going to call it commons again because I did not see anything. So... I guess now we head home. So in closing, the page is awesome. We've got all those features that I was talking about. We've got an awesome admin group who's very active, who's very interactive. They are constantly uh, interacting with members, and the members themselves are amazing. Constantly posting stuff, constantly asking questions, answering questions for people. There's a little bit of the team rivalry going on, which is cool, that's part of the game and it's fun, but it's not taken to a level that is, is just derogatory or, or painful that you see in a lot of the other pages that are, that are active on Facebook. So go ahead, click on the link that's on the channel, check us out, drop a line, drop a comment, let us know what you think of the page. I know I've got a lot of people that have come up from other states that aren't even in Colorado that follow the page and really, really like the page. Um, drop a like on the video if you enjoyed the video. And please, please be sure to subscribe, like I said at the beginning of the video. It'll help us out a lot. And uh, I'm going to try to post at least one of these videos every couple of weeks. Hopefully more than that, but I also don't want to post so much that it gets boring and it gets stale. Um, there's only so much information out there. I don't want to go back and cover all the basics and stuff. A lot of people already know it. There aren't a whole lot of players that are brand new to the game anymore. Um, but feel free to drop a comment or go like the page. Go join the page. And if you've got questions to ask, people will answer your questions. Nobody is going to look at you and say that you're stupid or anything else for asking a question. A lot of people will just answer the question for you. Um, so yeah, like, subscribe, and I will see you next time.